हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माई सेल्फ आई एम लोकू जोगी आई हैव कंप्लीटेड एमएससी इन एग्रीकल्चर सीड्स साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी स्पेशलाइजेशन सीड साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी फ्रॉम एच एन बी जी यू सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी श्रीनगर उत्तराखंड इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी आई हैव गॉट फिफ्टी टू रैंक इन पी प्रोग्राम सीड साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी फ्रॉम इंडियन काउंसिल ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल रिसर्च आई सी ए आर All India Entrance Examination for Admission in 2021. Today I am going to tell about the topic modes of reproduction in crop plants. Introduction. Reproduction is the development of new individual progeny from pre-existing one parents, and the manner in which the organ originate is called mode of reproduction. mode of reproduction determine the genetic constitutions of plants that is whether the plants are normally homozygous and heterozygous this in turn determines the goal and scheme of breeding programs a knowledge of the mode of reproduction of crop plants is also important for hybridization which is which is the basis for almost all modern breeding program the various method of reproduction found in crop plants may be broadly grouped into the following two categories asexual and sexual reproductions asexual reproduction asexual reproduction does not involve fusion of male and female gamete new plant may develop either from vegetative 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 part of the plant vegetative reproduction are they may arise from embryos that develop without fertilization apomixis but some uh, authors consider all forms of sexual reproduction in higher plants as apomixis this is the broadest definitions of apomixis and includes both vegetative reproduction called vegetative apomixis and sexual reproduction through seed formation termed as agmospermy how here the term apomixis is commonly used as a synonym of agmospermy the sense in which this term is used in this book vegetative reproduction in vegetative reproduction a new plant develop from a portion of body of parent plant this may occur through modified underground under underground and sub aerial stem and through bulbils underground stem the underground modification of stem generally serve as storage organ and contain may bud which develop into shoot and produce plant after rooting example of such modification are tuber potato solanum tuberosum tuberosum bulb onion allium sepa garlic allium sativum rhizome ginger ginger officinal turmeric curcuma domestica and corn bonda ol colocasia एंटीक्यूरम अरवी कोलोकेसिया एस्कुलेंटा सब एरियल स्टेम सेकेंड दीज मोडिफिकेशन इंक्लूड रनर स्टोलन सकर एटीसी सब एरियल स्टेम आर यूज फॉर प्रोपेगेशन ऑफ मिंट मेथा स्पेसिस डेड पाल फिनोक्सिक डेक्टाइलीफेरा एटीसी बल्बिल्स बल्बिल्स आर मोडिफाइड फ्लावर दैट develop into plant directly without formation of seed these are vegetative bodies are their development does not involve fertilization the lower flower in the inflorescence inflorescence of garlic naturally develop into bulbs bulbs development can be induced by cutting young inflorescence on suitable tissue culture media example cardamom for 
artificial vegetative reproduction it is commonly used to for propagation of many crop species all through it may not occur naturally in those species stem cutting are commercially used for propagation of sugarcane grafts rose etc layering budding grafting and gotti are in common use for the propagation of fruit fruit trees and ornamental serve technique are av available for vegetative multiplication through tissue culture is case of many plant species section 35.10.114 any may of these species sexual reproduction occur naturally but for certain reason vegetative reproduction is more desirable significance of vegetative reproduction vegetatively reproducing species after unique possibilities in breeding a desirable plant may be used of as a variety directly regardless of whether it is homozygous and heterozygous homozygous or heterozygous further mutant bud branches or seedling if desirable can be multi multiplied and directly used as variety however it does not allow transfer of gene or cytoplasm for one variety into another apomixis in apomixis seed are formed but the embryo develop without fertilization that is known as apomixis consequently the plants resulting from such seed are identical in genotype with each other and with the parent plant in a apomitic species sexual reproduction is either suppressed or absent when sexual reproduction also occurs the apomixis is termed as faculative but when a sexual reproduction is absent absent is it is referred to as obligate apomixis many crop species show apomixis but it is generally fac facultative facultative when embryos arise from haploid cells apomixis is termed as non recurrent because the progeny is so ob obtained cannot be maintained further but when embryos arise from diploid cells apomixis is called as recurrent since the progeny so obli obtained can be perpetuated identifiably indefinitely apomixis has been reported in over 300 species belonging to over 30 families the details of apomitic reproduction may vary so widely that a confusing terminology has resulted a simpler simplified classification of apomixis recognized two main group as follow first adventive embryony and second gametophytic apomixis first adventive embryony in this case embryos develop directly from vegetative cell of the ovule such as a nucleus integument and chalaza and it does not involve 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 production of embryo sacs adventive embryony occur in mango mangifera indica citrus orchid etc second gametophytic apomixis in this from of apomixis embryos embryos develop without fertilization from the egg cell or other cell of embryo sac in recurrent apomixis unreduced unreduced embryo sac are produced by a process of apomic apomeiosis which is a collective term signifying the various substitute for meiosis that give rise to unreduced gametophytic gametophytes apomeiosis is of two main the main types wise first 
apospore and diplospore second first apospore some vegetative cell of the ovule developed develop into unreduced embryos sac through a series of meiotic division and without meiosis without meiosis in some species of herisium melas orchids etc second diplospore embryo sac is produced from the megaspore which may be haploid or more genetic generally diploid a apomitic species the meiosis is so modified that the megaspore remain remains diploid in all such cases either meiosis is omitted along either are restrictions of the unreduced chromosome number occurring during or after the first meiotic division restrictions after the second meiotic division apparently does not occur in naturally apomitic species the embryos in such embryo sac may be arise by either one parthenogenesis or second pseudogamy to a parthenogenesis embryos develop from the embryo sac without pollination parthenogenesis parthenogenesis is of the following two ways first gonial parthenogenesis second somatic parthenogenesis in gonial parthenogenesis embryos develop for egg cell from egg cell while in somatic parthenogenesis they are arise from some uh, other cell of the embryo sac to be pseudogamy in such cases pollination is necessary for embryo development but fertilization of egg cell does not take place fertilization of the secondary nucleus however however does occur and it is necessary for endosperm development pseudogamy is also of two types first wise first gonial pseudogamy and second somatic pseudogamy in gonial pseudogamy embryos develop from egg cell while in somatic pseudogamy they arise from some other cell of the embryo sac in many species nicotiana dutura rice etc pollen grains may be induced in vitro to produce haploid embryos or plantlets this is called of endogenesis for this anther or pollen grains are cultured cultured on a suitable tissue culture medium this technique offers several possibilities for crop improvement significance of apomixis apomixis is a new sense when the breeder desire the obtain sexual progeny saf or hybrids but it is of great great help when the breeder desire to maintain varieties desirable genotype thus in breeding of apomitic species the breeder has to avoid apomitic progeny when the making crosses are producing inbred line but once a desirable genotype has been selected it is can be multiplied and maintained through apomitic reproduction this this would keep the genotype of a variety intact elaborate breeding scheme are being advised to use apomixis for multiplication and maintenance of hybrid varieties and her why fix heterosis sexual reproduction sexual reproduction involve fusion of male and female gamete to from a 
zygote which develop into an embryo in crop male and female gamete are produced in specialized structure called flowers flower a flower usually consists of sepal petal or their modification stem and are pistil a flower containing both stem and pistil is a perfect or hermaphroid froidite flower if it contains stems but not pistil it is known as stamenate stamenate while a pistillate flower contains pistil but not stem stems stamenate and pistillate flower occur on the same same plant in a monoecious species such as maize colocasia castor ricinus communicus coconut etc but in dioecious species stamenate and pistillate flower occur in occur on different plant example papaya date palm phenoxic dactylifera pistacho nut pistacia vera etc in crop of plant meiotic division of specific cells and stamen and pistillate yields microscope score microspore and megaspore res respectively this is the followed by meiotic division of the spore nuclei to produce gamete sporogenesis production of microspore and megaspore is known as sporogenesis microspore and produce in anther microsporogenesis while megaspore and produce in ovule megasporogenesis microsporogenesis is anther has four pol pollen sac which contain na numerous pollen mother cells pmc each pmc pollen mother cells undergoes meiosis to produce four haploid cells or microspore this is known as microsporogenesis the microspore mature mature into pollen grains mainly by a thinking of their walls thinking of their walls megasporogenesis megasporogenesis occurs in ovule which are present inside the very a single cell in each ovule differentiates into a megaspore mother cell which undergoes meiosis to produce four haploid megaspore three of the megaspore degenerate leaving one functional megaspore per ovule gametogenesis the the production of male and female gamete in the microspore and the megaspore respectively is known as gametogenesis microgametogenesis this refers to the production of male gamete or spores during maturation of pollen the microscope microspore nucleus divided meiotically to produce and generative generative and vegetative our tube nucleus pollen is generally released in binucleate stage binucleate stage when pollen lead on to stigma of a flower it is known as pollination shortly after pollination the pollen germinate and pollen tube air enters the stigma and grow through the style the generative nucleus now undergoes a meiotic division to produce to male gamete or sperm the pollen along with the pollen tube is known as microgametophyte the pollen tube finally enter the ovule through a small pore microphyll and discharge the to sperm into the embryo sac gameto genesis mega gametogenesis the nucleus of a functional megaspore divides mitochondria to produce four or more nuclei 
in most of the crop plant megaspore nucleus undergoes three meiotic division to produce eight nuclei three of these nuclei move to the to one pole and produce a central axel and two segregate cells syngrade cells situated on either side of the axel another three nuclei migrate to the opposite side, opposite pole to give rise to antipodal cells the two nuclei remaining in the center the polar nuclei fuse to from a secondary nucleus the megaspore has developed into a mature megagametophyte or embryo sac the development of embryo sac from a megaspore is known as megagametogenesis an embryo sac generally contains one egg cell to syngrade three antipodal cells all haploid and one diploid secondary nucleus fertilization the fusion of one of the two sperm with the egg cell producing of a diploid zygote is known as fertilization the fusion of the remaining sperm with the secondary nucleus leading the formation to the formation of a triploid primary endosperm nucleus is term is the triple fusion the zygote divided mitochondrially to produce of diploid embryo this primary endosperm nucleus produce endosperm through repeated meiotic division during seed development endosperm provide nutrition to the developing embryo the endosperm may become absorbed completely example in legume or it many or it may from the major portion of seed example in monocot like maize wheat etc and some dicot castor brassica species etc significance of sexual reproduction sexual reproduction make it possible to combine genit combine gen from two or more parents into a single hybrid recomb recombination among these gen produce a large number of different genotypes this is an essential stem is creating geno genetic variation through hybridization almost in entire plant breeding is based on sexual reproduction even a sexually reproducing species sexual reproduction where is where you are it occurs example in sugarcane potato sweet potato etc is used to develop novel useful genotypes anthesis the first opening of a flower is known as anthesis which generally occur in the morning the details of anthesis vary from one crop species to another they are also greatly affected by the environmental factor such a humidity and temperature or a knowledge of anthesis of a crop is desirable for making successful crosses as it largely determines the mode of pollination prevalent in the crop in case of rice a flower in is enclosed by two board to board sept spread brackets colon called lemma and clea petal and sepal are represented by two small sac like lodiculus lodiculus a flower has six stems and one ovary with to an elongated of fetri stigma when stigmas become rib respective the lodiculus greatly swell 
द फुस द लेम्बा एंड प्लिया ए पार्ट सिमलेटेंसली द फिलामेंट्स ऑफ स्टेमस इलोंगेट पुसिंग द एंथर्स आउट ऑफ द ब्रैक्ट द एंथर डिहिसेंस ड्यूरिंग दिस प्रोसेस एंड लिबरेट मोस्ट ऑफ देयर पोलन इन साइड द फ्लोवर द रिमाइनिंग पोलन ग्रेन्स फिलिंग आउट साइड ऑन रिचेज रिचिंग रिचिंग द स्टिंगमा पोलन ग्रेन्स जर्मिनेट वेर इन विद इन फ्यू मिनिट्स एंड द पोलन ट्यूब रिच द एम्ब्रियोसैक इन अबाउट ट्वेंटी मिनट्स टू टू हावर्स sometimes and sometimes the anther may be pushed out before the dehens or pollen may not be functional in such cases cross pollination may take place in rice is high as 2 3% cross pollination may occur mode of pollination <coughs> pollination refer to the transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma pollen from an anther may fall on the fall onto the stigma of the same flower leading to self pollination or autogamy when pollination grain from flower of one plant are transmitted to the sti- stigmas of flower of another plant it is known as cross pollination or autogamy a third situation Gitnogamy is result when pollen from a flower of one plant falls on to the stigmas of other flower of same plants example in maize the genetic constitution consequence of gitnogamy are the same of those of autogamy self pollination self pollination may cultivated plant species reproduce reproduce of self pollination self pollinated species are believed to have originated originated from cross pollinated ancestors in response to the environmental condition to which sub such species are typically subjected often in breeders are found at the extremes of the species distribution in marginal 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 habitat and particularly in stress environments plant species showing of self pollination in breeding are generally annual or in any cases short lived this species as rule must have hermaphroid flower but in most of these species cell pollination is not complete and cross pollination may occur of 5% the degree of cross pollination being affected by several factor like variety environmental condition temperature and humidity and location mechanism promoting cell pollination the various mechanism that promote cell pollination are generally more efficient that than those promoting cross pollination these mechanism are briefly summarized summarized below first cleistogamy in such cases flower do not open at all this injure complete cell pollination since foreign foreign pollen can not reach the stigma of closed flower of a closed flower cleistogamy occur in a some varieties of wheat oats barley and in a in a number of other grasses casmogamy second in some species flower open but only after pollination has take place this occur in many cereals such as wheat barley rice and oats since the flower do not do open since the flower do open some cross pollination may occurs classification of crops 
species on the basis of their natural mode of pollination self pollinated crops cereal and millets wheat triticum acetum rice oryza sativa barley horridum bulgare oats avena sativa foxtail millet sterotia italica ragi illicin crocona legume p pisum sativum groundnut rachis hypozia gram sisera eritinum moong vigna radiata urd vigna mungo kaupi vigna egotif engoclota soybean glycin max stem sam dolicus lovelub lentil lens escalenta esculenta kesri lithus sativus rajma fasciolus vulgaris guar synopsis tetragonolova moth fasciolus aconiti folius snapham crotolaria juncia vegetable tomato lycoprasigum esculentum okra ablomoscus esculentum lutius lectuca sativa brinjal solenum melanogena chilies capsicum anum prensip potensica sativa potato solenum duration forage bar clover medicango hispida substrenum clover clover trifolium substrenum velvet wheel muconia dringina slender wheat grasses several others oil till sesamum indicum linseed linium asti laticisum laticisum fruit apricot parnas americana kaga dectorine parnas persica ka citrus citrus species peach prince prisesia fiber jute corcoras campestris cross pollinated crops species cereal maize jia maize rai skel cereali bajra penicetum glucum niger gojotia ovicineca legume alfalfa medicango sativa red clover trifolium partenis white clover trifold dresspens crisi crimson clover trifolium incornatum stem clover british breadfruit trifold trifoil vegetables cabbage brassica ulricea carrot docus carota cauliflower brassica ulricea cucumber cucumis sativus onion elium sepa pumpkin cucurbita moss maxima radis raphnus sativus turnip brassica rapa musk melon cucurbita moss tata moss kata watermelon citrus vulgaris chickweed cucurbita melon sperma sweet potato impopia batatas other cucurbitas cucurbita species beet beta vulgaris broccoli brassica oleracea brinsel spore sprouts brassica oleracea pirsli petrus elium hortensis celery apium grivelles spinach asparagus garlic elium sativa coriander coriandrum sativa oil seed some stand of brassica campestris sunflower helianthus anus castor ricinus communicus forage rye grasses lilium parmenium tabothi grasses smooth brom grasses johan grasses sorghum helpens other crops sugar cane sacarum officinum some line of potato sorghum duration have 
कैनेबिस इंडिका हॉप हेमलस लिब्रेशन एप्पल फ्रूट्स एप्पल एडिकार्डो मैंगो मेजी फेरा इंडिका बियर ब्लैक बेरीज रेस बेरीज वॉलनट कैसनट हेजलट हेजलट बनाना बूसा स्पेनिटम चेरी परनस एविनम डेड पालम फिनोक्सिक डेक्टाइली फेरा फिग फाइकस कैरिका कोकोनट कोकोनट कोकस नूसी फेरा क्रैप विटिस विनिटी विनी फेरा वाइटस विनी फेरा पपाया कैरिका पपाया आल लोक्योट स्ट्राबेरीज आलमंड पर्नस एमाइली डेलस पिस्टाचो नट ऑफ्टर क्रॉस पोलिडेड क्रॉप्स ज्वार स्वर्गम बाइकोलर कॉटन गोसपियम स्पेसिस बॉर्डविन व्यूसिया फावा जूट टोबेको निकोटिया नट टोबेकम एंड निकोटेना रस्टिका पीजन पी आर अरहर कैजनस कैजन राई ब्रेसिका जूसिया ब्रेसिका कंपेस वार येलो सार्सन येलो सार्सन ब्रेस्टिका ब्रेसिका कंपेटिस वार ट्रो ट्रोलिया साफ फ्लोवर है क्रेसन स्ट्रोलेस ट्राइली ट्राइटिट स्केल थ्री इन क्रॉप लाइक टमेटो एज ब्रिंजल द स्टेप्स इन आर क्लोजली सराउंडेड बाय द अनोदर पोलिनेशन जनरली एक आफ्टर द फ्लोवर ओपन बट द पोजिशन ऑफ एंथर इन रिएक्शन ऑफ स्टिगमास इन जर सेल्फ पोलिनेशन फोर इन सम स्पेसिस फ्लोवर्स ओपन बट द स्टेम एंड द स्टिगमा आर हिडन बाई अदर फ्लोरल ऑर्गन्स इन सेवरल लेग्यूम इजी पी मूंगविन उर्दविन सोयाबीन एंड ग्राम द स्टेम एंड द स्टिगमा एंड क्लोज आर इनक्लोज बाई द टू पेटल्स फॉर्मिंग ए कील फाइव इन ए फ्यू स्पेसिस स्टिगमास बिकम रेस्पेक्टिव एंड ओब्लीगेट थ्रो द स्टेम कोलवंस दिस इंजोर प्रोड्यूमेंट सेल पोलेशन जेनेटिक सिक्वेंसेस ऑफ सेल पोलेशन सेल पोलेशन लीड टू ए वेरी रेपिड इंक्रीजेस इन होमोजाइगोसिटी देयर फॉर पॉपुलेशन ऑफ सेल पोलेटेड स्पेसिस आर हाईली होमोजाइगस दीज स्पेसिस डू नॉट सो इन ब्रीडिंग डिस्प्रेशन डिस्पर्सन बट मे एक्सबिटेड कंसिडरेबल हिटोरोसिस देयर फॉर द एम्स ऑफ ब्रीडिंग मैथोड जनरली इज टू डेवलप होमोजाइगस वेराइटीज ऑफ सच क्रॉप्स द इन ब्रीडिंग मैकेनिज्म आर जनरली अंडर प्रीसियस जेनेटिक कंट्रोल बट कैन बी इन्फ्लुस्ड by both the genetic background as well as the environment cross pollination second in cross pollinating species the transfer of pollen grain from of a flower to the stigmas of the other may be brought about the wide anemophily water hydrophily and insect entomophily entomophily sex many of the crops plants are naturally cross pollinated in many such species a small amount up to 5 to 10% of sapling may also occur mechanism promoting cross pollination there are several mechanism that facilitate cross pollination these mechanism are described briefly briefly फर्स्ट डाइक्लिनी डाइक्लिनी आर एनी सेक्शुअलिटी इज ए कंडीशन इन विच ऑफ फ्लावर आर इधर स्टेमिनेट मेल आर पिस्टिलेटेड फीमेल डाइक्लिनली ऑफ टू टाइप्स मोनोशियसी सेकेंड डायोशियसी फर्स्ट मोनोशियसी स्टेमिनेट एंड पिस्टिलेट फ्लावर एक्यूर इन द सेम प्लांट इधर इधर इन द सेम इन फ्लोरसेंस एग्जाम्पल कैस्टर मैंगो बनाना एंड कोकोनट आर इन सेपरेट 
इंट्रोसेंस एग्जाम्पल मेज अदर मोनोसियस स्पेसिस आर कुकरबेट्स वालनट कैशनट स्ट्राबेरीज फ्रोगेरिया स्पेसिस रबर ग्रेफ्स एंड केसेवा सेकेंड डायोसी इन सच स्पेसिस मेल एंड फीमेल फ्लावर आर प्रजेंट ऑन डिफरेंट प्लांट्स एग्जाम्पल द प्लांट्स आर इधर मेल और फीमेल एग्जाम्पल पपाया डेट पाल्म हेम स्पेरोगस एंड स्पेनिच इन सम केसेस केस देर आर हर्मोफिरोडिट प्लांट इन एडिशन टू मेल एंड फीमेल प्लांट्स एंड ए नंबर ऑफ इंटरमीडिएट फ्रॉम मे ऑल्सो एक्र सेकेंड डाइकोगेमी स्टेम एंड पिस्टिलेट हर्मोफिरोडिट फ्लोवर में मेच्योर एट डिफरेंट टाइम देर वाई फेसिलेटिंग क्रॉस पोलेशन फर्स्ट प्रोटोगी इन क्रॉप्स लाइक पीरियमलेट पिस्टिलेट मेच्योर बी फोर स्टेम सेकेंड प्रोटेंड्री इन क्रॉप्स लाइक मेज एंड शुगरवेट स्टेम मेच्योर बी फोर पिस्टिल्स थर्ड द लूवर्शन ऑफ अल्फा स्टिग्मा इज कवर्ड विद a waxy film the stigma does not become respective until the wax film is broken by the visit of hdv which also affect cross pollination for a combination of two or more of the above mechanism may occur in some species for example maize exhibits both monoecious and protogynous protandry this improves of efficiency the efficiency of the system of promoting in promoting cross pollination fifth self incompatibility it refers to the failure of pollen from of a flower or to fertilize the same flower or other flower flowers on the same plants self incompatibility is of two types sporophytic and gametophytic the both of cases the both of cases flower do not set seed on sapling cell incompatibility is common in several species of brassica mustard dry coil flower etc some species nicotiana radis rye and berry grasses cell incompatibility is highly effective is prevalenting self pollination male six male sterility male sterility refers to the absence of functional pollen grains in otherwise hermaphrodite flower male sterility is not common in natural population but it is of great value of experimental population particularly in the production of hybrid seed male sterility value of hybrid seed male sterility is of two types genetic and cytoplasmic genetic cytoplasmic male sterility is termed as a cytoplasmic genetic when restorer gene are known as genetic consequence of cross pollination cross pollination the reserve of promotes heterozygosity in a population cross pollinated species are highly heterozygous and so mild of several inbreeding dispersion depression depressions and considerable amount of heterosis the breeding method in such species am improving the crop species without reducing heterozygosity to a appreciable degree usually hybrid varieties are the aim of breeder where ever hybrid seed production is a economically feasible often cross pollinated species in may crop plants cross pollination often extend 5% and may reach 30% such species is generally known as often cross pollinated species war cotton pigeon pea subflower etc the genetic 
erythema culture of such crop is intermediate between those of self pollinated and cross pollinated species consequently breeding methods suitable for either of them may be profitably applied to such species but often hybrid varieties are superior to others determination of mode of pollination the first step in determining of mode pollination of species it is is to critically examine to its flower mechanism like dico diosi monoecious protogeny protandry and cleistogamy are easily detected the clearly indicated mode of pollination the second step constitutes consist of isolating single plant or recording seed set under isolation sap space isolation individual plant grown ground of a sufficient distance to prevent prevalent cross pollination is referable to isolation by bags or cases since the latter may create an environment unfavorable for pollination and seed set failure to set seed in isolation prong the species of the cross pollinated but setting setting of seed is you only indicative of cell pollination finally the effect effect of sapling in breeding on the vigor of plant should be studied loss in vigor due to the inbreeding is common in cross pollinated species but self pollination self pollinator so in so no breeding dispersion determination of amount of cross pollination the amount of cross pollination is determined by the planting two strands of the in considered species is a in a mixed strand one these two strand in homozygous for a dominant character preferably an easily recognizable recognizable seed or seedling character while the other strand is the has the recessive from the this character or oh, the two strands are planted in such a manner that each plant of the recessive strand in surrounded by plants of the dominant strand to provide avoided pollen pollen seed produced on plants of only the recessive strand are harvested and the percentage of seed carrying the dominant allele represents or the percentage of cross pollination in the species the frequency of cross pollination in a species varies varies greatly with the variety weather condition and location for example in a study of safflower the estimate estimate of outcrossing in different varieties grow in the same year at the same location range from 0.8 0.7% similarly the amount of cross pollination in a single variety grow at several location varieties varied varied from 1.3 to 9.8% therefore such two are more years and view of this information on the amount of cross pollination in many cross crops may be regarded in incomplete as incomplete detection of apomixis the occurrence of apomixis in a crop species may be determined by determined by crossing as a recessive strain used and female to a dominant one used as male if a sufficiently sufficiently high frequency of recessive of spring are recovered 
in the progeny the species is most likely apomitic but every precaution should be taken to avoid cell pollination while making the crosses apomixis is indicated by several other features which are listed below one first in case of the obligate apomixis all the progeny from the cross resemble the female parent second in this in case of facultative facultative apomixis are percentage of progeny that are the identical to the female percent give or degree of apomixis third in cephalid generation presence of plants showing no inbreeding dispersion in is indicative of apomixis for presence of multiple seedling from single seed indicate apomixis polyembryony five embryological studies of young or will confirming apomitic behavior the pre the presence of more than the embryo sac in a ovule is a important indicator of apomixis but progeny test are essential to determine the degree of apomixis relevance of mode of reproduction mode of reproduction and pollination are very important in plant breeding because the determine the following first genetic constitution second nature of gen action third is the pollination control and for stability of varieties after release genetic constitutions natural population of cross pollinator species are highly heterozygous and generally so loss in vigor on inbreeding population of self pollinated species on the other hand consist of homozygous individual of similar or different genotype at the note and they do not so inbreeding dispersion dispersion asexually reduce reproducing crop are similar to the cross pollinator species and in their genetic constitutions primarily because of the of uh, effect of inbreeding the breeding a process a process and the varieties developed are different from these three group of crops in self pollinating species the varieties are usually homozygous and often a variety consists consists of plant of a single genotype in cross pollinating species on the other hand the varieties are highly heterozygous and many may consist of one hybrid varieties are many open pollinated and synthetic variety genotype but is but in actually reproducing species sexual progeny from a desirable plant many be directly may be directly used a variety thus in this crop varieties are clones a sexual progeny of single plants nature of gene second nature of gene action cell pollinated species are generally annual of short lived are short lived and have in involved from cross pollinated species in response the environmental conditions of their habitats they are often found at the extremes 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 of species distribution in marginal habitat and particularly in stress environments under these condition immediate fitness of the population is the most easily achieved by inbreeding which release enormous amount of variability for selection to act on the injure faithful propagation of the best adopted gene combination combinations once they are produced the stabilized and stabilized 
द कैपेसिटी फॉर कंटिन्यूड एवोल्यूशन इन रेस्पॉन्स टू चेंजिंग इन्वायरमेंटल कंडीशन डिपेंड्स इंटायरली ओन द डिग्री ऑफ क्रॉस पोलिनेशन दैट एक्यूर इन द स्पेसी सिलेक्शन ड्यूरिंग डिमोस्टिकेशन ऑफ मैनी क्रॉप हैज चेंज दैम टू सेल्फ पोलिनेटर्स सेल्फ पोलिनेटर्स फ्रॉम क्रॉस पोलिनेटर्स द एडोप्ट जीरो टाइप ऑफ लॉन्ग लाइव आर प्रेमिनियल स्पेसीज सर्व सर्वाइव वेगेटेटली वेगेटेबली and many can be vegetatively propagated such species are generally cross pollinated cross pollinated is also wide spread occurrence among short lived species dominance gene affect is likely to be selected for the cross pollinated species while it is expected to be selected against against in self pollinated species but self pollinated species still so dominance for berry traits this is no generally accepted as an evidence for their origin origin from cross pollinated ancestors the cross pollinated and self pollinated populations so another difference in their genetic organization in cross pollinated species there is conti continual interconvergence on free variability potential heterozygotic heterozygotic variability and potential heterozygotic variability in case of self pollinated species on the other hand book and bulk of the variability of forzen and homozygotic potential variability however the amount of genetic variability present in a self pollinated population would be comparable to that in a cross pollinated population provided there were no selection third facility in controlled pollination breeding method in bravely depend upon some system of controlling mating in most of the breeding scheme selected plants and strains have to be crossed the ek the yes or the defi difficulty difficulty in making these crosses and the prejudications necessary to injure or prevalent selfing largely depend on the floral structure and the mode of pollination of species of the species for example in self pollinating crop selfing occur naturally naturally while in cross pollinators flower have to be hand pollinated and protected from foreign pollination foreign pollination for stability of varieties after release in self pollinators varieties are homozygous and natural cross pollination in deeply given therefore they remain fairly stable in their genetic constitutions over generations farmer may be for therefore plant the seed produced on their farms are several for several years in precautions is taken to avoid off type due to mechanical mixer similar is the cases is the axillary reproduction species but they have the have a problem of their own the are often infected by one or other virus that unlike in the case of sexually sexually reproducing species the is transmitted from one generation to the next this lead on re to reduced vigor and yields and necessities replacement of seed every year 
every few years but in cross polarized species sufficiently precautions has be taken to avoid contaminations of synthetic composite and often pollinated varieties by foreign forged pollen in the case of hybrid varieties farmer have no have to replace the seed every year due to the self inbreeding depressions depressions into subsequent generations even in the case of synthetic varieties should be replaced replaced every few years five the method of germplasm conservations conservations germplasm conservation generally involve involve example c2 storage of the plant of propagules for very wall period the time of in case sexually reproduction species seed are the perform propagule for storage of germplasm this is the particularly true to species reproducing orthodox seed orthodox seed seeds which can be stored for long period of time under low moisture and ultra low temperature but in case of species producing recall seed seed recall seed trend seed are producing no seed all the germplas are best conserved is as either slow grow culture art culture are at 119 minus 196 degree celsius in liquid nitrogen in a cryopreserved state thanks